some kickoff here at Rugby Park. It's at three o'clock. And talking of rugby, do you recognise this young man? Well, in a moment, we'll reveal which of today's players could have been a star with the oval ball. And if you don't believe this, here he is scoring a try at the home of Scottish rugby, Murrayfield Stadium. New star of the Hibs team has played himself into contention for the cup final. It's been a rapid coming of age for Alex Harris. Luke Shanley's been talking to a young man who has the rare distinction of scoring at both Murrayfield and Hampden Park. This again, it's only 18. It's a wonderful try! It's a wonderful goal! Back where it all began, at Edinburgh Academy, Alex Harris has had a life-changing last 12 months. Last year I was Eastbourne from school and was still playing for him, so but yeah, the balance was good, I enjoyed it. Um, it was a bit demanding, but yeah, glad I got there. Right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I just bumped into a former colleague of yours in the corridor. Left school five hours, which is what I intended to do in the end. Uh, yeah, I did a bit, a bit of French, a bit of maths, PE, PE the usual option. Uh, no, I enjoyed it. Because on top of Frank Lampard, he's a private school boy, uh, East East, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too bad. The school is renowned for producing rugby players, a career path Harris could have gone down. I think a lot of the skills he showed on the rugby pitch you can see in his football. Uh, quick feet, taking the outside, and then to bring other players into the game. And for us, you know, from a purely selfish point of view, we just wanted to keep him playing rugby for as long as possible. But you'd see him playing with a tennis ball in the yards, and that, that you know his talent was always very obvious. And while he was a very talented rugby player, it was always expected that he could, he could really make it in football. He did taste success with the oval ball, winning the Scottish Schools Cup, scoring a try at Murrayfield. Small and the length, tried to get it off the defenders and with my face. You got shy of a tackle, but uh, nah, I enjoyed, enjoyed it. We had a strong team, so uh, we, all, we all played a part. Playing in Murrayfield, just, that was just an achievement in its own. But uh, going on to win that as well, that was made extra special. And then uh, playing, playing football for Hibs uh, at Hamden as well, that day. That's what, what dreams were made of as a, as a young, young Hybe. But uh, yeah, can't really compare them, but they're special on different, different levels. Someone was quite a dressing room. Uh, got boots to clean and jobs to do, so yeah, I'm still still one of the boys. I have to get on with it, to be honest. I'm not, I don't really think about it too much. I'm happy to do it. I mean, still getting experience, still young. So uh, yeah, I'm still hoping to learn. The manager plays in the left, which I'm happy to play. Uh, I've been playing there the last few years. Yeah, enjoying myself. Uh, so yeah, I like to get the, get the defender and take them on, hopefully create a chance for the team. Wasn't really in the plans for a wee bit, uh, so coming back is great obviously, started the last few games, but uh, yeah, we're working towards the seventh in the league and then got a couple of look forward to. Well, he's certainly very grounded, is Alex Harris, just 18 years of age. How good is he, Stephen Glass? What I've seen so far, he's very good. He's brought a, brought a positivity and a freshness into the Hibs team, a little bit of pace that I think they've needed. Uh, a bit of support for Lee Griffiths as well, and he provides chances. You've seen it in the, the cup semi-final, and he, he's a positive player. And that's what they've that's what they've looked for. He's done he's done well. Do you think the game against your Falkirk team, when Falkirk were three up at half time, was it this young man here who got the game with the scruff of the neck and indeed led more experienced players to victory? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the, the age of him certainly helps because he, he doesn't get caught on the occasion. He just wants to go out and play and. And it certainly showed. He, he just went out to play and enjoy it as if he was playing with his friends in the park. And, and that'll come later. as he gets older. He'll start to think more about the game. But at the moment, he's just going out and enjoying it. And uh, as he said, scoring the goal, he did score. He's pretty fearless as well. You see his movement. He's got good movement. He'll sometimes dive in behind the fullback. Sometimes he'll collect the ball at feet and he'll go at him. He can cross. He can score. He can shoot. He, he looks like he's got everything. And if he continues to be as grounded as he is there at the moment and progresses the way he is, you, you never know where he goes. Today is only his sixth start for the first team. He made his debut in October. Given what you said about him having no fear there, do you think he's already played his way into the the cup final, the starting eleven? Well, I'd be surprised if he's not in it. Um, and that's just the performances he's had so far. 
and it's like I said, he just wants to go out and play, and, that, and that's a good thing. And you wish some of the older ones would take that on board as well, and, and just go and showcase their talents because it, it's such an occasion as the cup semi final and the cup final, and hopefully that will rub off on them with his enthusiasm uh, for the game. And, uh, he certainly he, he certainly changed the game second half for them and, and got them back in the game. It's great to be young and daft, isn't it? But if you're young and sensible, it's perhaps even better. <laughs> Let's check in with the two managers. Pat